Now, this is a very special project. It was actually our first design art advisor collaboration with one of the interior designers with whom we work. The home was being redecorated. It is uh, the home of a young couple with young children and they were interested in getting into art collecting and learning about art, not only for themselves, but also so that their children would be surrounded by art growing up. We really pride ourselves on hearing our clients, so the first step is always to sit down and listen and learn about them. And then we set out on a strategy to educate them about the art world and about various artists. It took us about a year to target the artworks that would be both perfect for the home but also resonate with the family. We work with both emerging artists all the way to artists that are very actively being acquired by museums and the collection definitely reflects that. Lee and I started working together and what I think we can do really well is develop an area for collecting with the client that really reflects who they are and what their interests are. Collaborating with Anne is a delight. She knows her clients very, very well and she has exquisite taste. And she looks to us to add a, a new and different dimension to her clients' homes. So I would highlight three pieces in particular. First and foremost is the piece that you encounter when you first enter the home in the foyer. It is the work of Teresita Fernandez called Round Light, and it's actually composed of over 7,000 individual mirrored glass cubes. The second is an exquisite portrait by Alex Katz. It's a bold and beautiful portrait of his niece on his characteristic flat background with vivid color. And then the third piece that I would highlight is the work of Shara Hughes. Shara Hughes is a much sought after artist. When we were first looking at her, she hadn't yet been collected by museums, but we worked with a museum to acquire her work and at the same same time work to get a painting into this collection. And you can have the most beautiful antiques and fabrics and, and furnishings and rugs, but if the walls don't have any art on them, it's, it's never going to feel complete. We're fortunate to actually work with many different design professionals and no two projects are alike. So um, taking a very personal approach and understanding what is important to the design professional and to the collector is really where we start and the basis of what we do.